So See, you're used to saying, Yvonne, the reason I do questions is to check whether I've learned properly. Yes. Right? So you're like, I can't do a question if I haven't covered the stuff, Yvonne, because then I'll get it wrong, because that's your purpose. I'm going, no, 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 no. There's another reason we do questions. Why do I want you doing the questions first? What are you going to take from that? The mm -hmm. first thing you're going to take from that is that when you do questions before the class, the class goes better. Okay. You focus more, you pay more attention, and you retain more. It's kind of like doing a puzzle, right? Sure. When you go to class, you don't have a picture of the puzzle. You're just sitting there, and the lecturer is giving you puzzle pieces. Mm. And you're just collecting knowledge. Okay, 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 okay. But your brain is kind of going, well, okay, I'm going to keep it. Okay, And your brain is saying to you, we're going to learn this later. Your brain is always going later, later. I'll make summaries of this later. I'll focus on it later. I will think about it more later, right? There's always a later, 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 later. So you're literally just collecting puzzle pieces. And now you've got this massive <laughs> puzzle piece. And then later, you're like, later, I'm going to go and put this puzzle together. I'm going to try and put it together without a picture of what I'm actually trying to build. Hmm. I'm just trying to make sense of all the pieces, right? That is very different from saying, this is what I'm trying to build. This is the picture of what I'm trying to build. Okay. okay? So I'm trying to build a puzzle of a house with a garden. Now, the first question I'm asking is, what puzzle pieces do I already have? Yeah. So don't pretend that you don't have puzzle pieces <laughs> because you do. Yeah. So the starting point is like, what am I trying to build? And what puzzle mm -hmm. pieces do I already have? Now your brain is working on, okay, I've got that. What the hell is going on there? <laughs> what is that? Okay, mm -hmm. I never understood that. Your brain creates questions. Mm. Your brain goes into the class with questions. Okay. Wow. Now, okay. when the lecturer is mm. talking and giving you puzzle pieces, your brain is going, mm, yes, that yes, that was the thing that I, oh, okay, now I understand where it belongs. And instead of just piling the puzzle pieces, your brain is taking the, and go, okay, I understand where you belong now. I can see. Okay. And I put you into the picture now because your brain is thinking about it now. Because it already has a question. Your brain only wow. learns information if it has a question. True. Okay. If your brain has no question, your brain doesn't care about the information. Mm. Okay. The more, and again, you're interested in the psychology, <clears throat> your brain has a relevance filter, right? So there, yeah. there's only like two or three things that biologically bypass your relevance filter. If we, I'm going to call it, it's a, it's a horrible name. I call it the relevance filter. So the sound of your name will penetrate and grab your attention no matter where you are. No matter what you're doing, sure. you will always hear your name, right? Yeah. Um, if, yeah. if you're a parent, especially a mother, the sound of your child will always mm. penetrate whatever you're doing. Okay, so those are two things yeah that your relevance filter will always let through. Sure. But the job of your brain, of that filter, is to assess or every bit of information going on around you, the light, the colors, the ads, the people, the noises, the stuff, the amount of information coming towards your brain every moment. Mm -hmm. The relevance filter, the job of the relevance filter is to prioritize that information. Sure thing. And go... You don't care, not don't care, not interested, don't care. So, so doing a mm. question before class is so important because it oh, changes wow. the way that your brain works in class. Even if the mm. question was crap and you got 5%, that's irrelevant, doesn't matter, don't care. It's about the fact that your brain goes into the class with a picture of, I have a puzzle, and you're giving me pieces, and I can now see you're not just giving me a piece of green that I'm going to file. I'm like, that's grass. Okay, 
So now I know to put that on the bottom. Like I'm still busy building. So your brain works very differently. (laughs) The reason I want you doing questions, it's not about the question. It's about what's going on in your brain. And so you're tricking, you're tricking your brain into caring about something that it normally wouldn't. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, well, Yvonne, I'm going to class and my exam is important to me. And so therefore I will concentrate. Your brain is going, I don't care. The exam is ages away. And I've mm. got more important things to worry about right now. Mm. I've got finances. I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight. I've got accommodation problems. Hey. I'm tired. Didn't mm. sleep well last night. And so your brain is continually focusing on what it feels is important. So if we mm. want to trick your brain into going, this stuff is important, you cannot tell your brain oh, this is important because it's going to be in the exam. Because your brain's like, that's nice. I'll do it later. Mm. But if you've done a question, your brain goes in going, it's important to me now. Why? This is your superpower. We are going to turn your weakness into your superpower. Your weakness is that you're a perfectionist and you Mm. want closure. So we're going to turn that Mm. into a superpower because the moment we give your brain a question, it will not sleep until it gets an answer. Yeah. So if, if you do a question before class, you are going to scratch at that class in a completely different way mm. because you're going in there going, I have a hole in my brain and I'm fixing it now. That's why I want you doing questions before class. I have never thought about it. But it's true, right? It makes sense. You, like, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> because it makes a lot of sense. It does, like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, would we say then that means the strategy would be applicable even for CTA? Like, yes. for for example, like, oh, but yeah, CTA, we're continuing with things that I've already done. Yes. So I was thinking, okay, if I'm going into a, a going to do law, for example, which I've never studied before, mm. like, and then I don't know the concept at all. Yeah. So the day before the class, I do a random question. It would still have the same effect. Yeah. Wow. The purpose is different, right? So, See, you're used to saying, Yvonne, the reason I do questions is to check whether I've learned properly. Yes. Right. So you're like, I can't do a question if I haven't covered the stuff, Yvonne, because then I'll get it wrong because that's your purpose. I'm going, no, 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 no. There's another reason we do question. Hmm. I call it walking around the obstacle course. If I say to you in three months time, your exam is going to be an obstacle course. You're going to have to do an obstacle hmm. course. And that's your exam, right? One of the first things you would ask me is, can I see the obstacle course? Why? Hmm. Is it because you feel you're going to check whether you can do the obstacle course right now and go, oh, well, Yvonne, I can't do the obstacle course right now, so now there's no point. I'm just going to go home. Why do you want to see the obstacle course? What value does that obstacle course have for you? Hmm. I know how to guide my prep. When I go to gym on Monday morning, I will know what to work on. I want to see the types of obstacles that I'm going to have to prepare for. Mm. Because what if I just go, oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go to the gym. I don't want to see the obstacle course. I don't want to like, I can't wow. do it yet. So there's no point in looking at it because I can't do it. So I'm just going to go mm. to gym and I'm going to work on stuff. And then on the day of the obstacle course, I put you there and I go, and you, you didn't tell me there was a water obstacle. I didn't know I was supposed to swim. Mm. Yep. So your, the most effective way to guide your preparation is to start by saying, let me take a look at what I'm supposed to be learning. What am I going to have to be able to do in the future? Yeah. Walk around yeah. the obstacle course. It's not about whether you can do it now. It's about thinking and going, I'm going to have to work on that. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Then so you we, go and learn. In 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 this a a question comes then. Okay. Would it be the same then to read a question before that? Rather than read, attempting it. Ah, no. 
No, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> No, it wouldn't. I know, I know. I know, I know, <laughs> but you know, but okay, so, we always so based on our discussion, people. why yeah. do you think? Why do you think I'm saying no? Because my brain will take it as irrelevant information. Hundred percent. Because I'm not trying to 100%. engage in it. At until all. Yes. you have to do yeah. it, until you force your brain to do something, it's lazy. Mm. We talk yeah. about it as lazy, right? We're like, I don't want to be. I'm not lazy when I'm trying. No, no, no. What your brain does, your brain is a powerful machine. It's a beautiful mm. machine. One of its prime objectives is automation and efficiency. Mm. So your brain is not going to spend time and energy on something that it doesn't have to. Mm. So the first time that you drive to a new location, you're paying attention, right? I must turn left here, third right, turn by the traffic light. The first time that you drive somewhere, you can't think about other stuff because you're focusing on the directions, right? Mm. Right? The third, fourth, the fifth time that you drive there, your brain is thinking about other stuff. By the time you've driven to that same location a dozen times, you can get to the location and not remember the drive. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Your brain automated the process. So your brain mm. does stuff and then it says, we need to spend energy on what's important we know how to do this now. We're automating. <clears throat> it gets no mental energy. And instead, we're going to spend the mental energy on worrying about our exams while we're driving the car. So your brain is continuously going, where do I need energy? Where can I remove? Where can I? So when you're reading a question, your brain is going, do I really need to be here? <laughs> <laughs> can I get away? I've got yeah. stuff to worry about. I've got mm -hmm. other things to think about. I've got other things that I feel are important. And so your mental energy is going to go there and your brain's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Until you actually mm -hmm. do it, then your brain is like, mm -hmm. okay, I can't focus on all this other shit now. I actually have to be present and I have to actively think about it. Your thinking takes up a lot of mental energy. And if mm -hmm. your brain can avoid thinking, it will. What is yeah. easier, to remember something or to think about? Me. Yeah. Memory, much easier. So your brain is continually going to go down the, yeah, but if we just learn it, then we can just remember it. Because that's like, for you and mm. I, personality styles, memory is like nice and easy. Thinking means, oh, I don't want to think, I want to remember, because that's faster. I don't have to think about it, I want to remember. Okay, So you're 100% right. Unfortunately, it does not work the same way. Reading a question, mm. it does, because your brain is not engaged. It's not thinking about it.